Recently, I had some conversations with southern people marveling at how light behaves in Sweden and also regular folks who have gone through some regular high school curriculum and who have never really been interested in astronomy and yet who were wondering if daytime should just intuitively be longer than night on average. And their reasoning is based on observations like, okay, here in Stockholm, even in the middle of winter, we still do get some decent daylight. Yet, in the summer, it never seems to really go dark. There is actually no real night. So, what's going on when, in school, we all learned, at least people who didn't go to better schools than I have, learn that the two should be equal. So there's the thing, this thing called equinox, which literally means equal night, when the daytime is 12 hours and half of the year the day is longer, the other half of the year the day is shorter. So on average they should be equal anywhere. And actually this school model is incorrect or it's overly simplified and daytime is indeed longer on average than night. Um, but not so much for the reasoning that I showed before because it is that one is based on twilight. So when the sun sets, there's still some scattered light from the sky. So we don't feel like it's night, it's still bright, but it's only twilight. And this we can also see here um, in Stockholm, indeed, for quite a few weeks in the summer. There is no real nighttime, this darker blue, but it's also not called officially day, which would be this brightest blue. And we also see that in the winter, indeed, there is always a few hours of daytime. So the officially more correct reason why day is longer than night is that in astronomy, well, there are two main reasons. And one is that in astronomy, uh, daytime is not calculated by the center of the sun, but by the top edge. So when, whenever that is above the horizon, that is daytime, and the size of the sun is half a degree in visual angle, which we usually don't think of because it just seems like a point or a blob of glare, but it's easy to imagine. The rule of thumb here is that if you extend your arm and look at your thumb across, that is two degrees visual angle approximately. So a quarter of that is still significant considering how slowly the sun goes down at the horizon, and this adds a little bit of extra time to each uh, day. But the bigger effect is caused by refraction of light. So light is bent towards the Earth by the atmosphere. So when light goes through the, uh, me through the edge between two optical media, it is bent towards the denser one. And here this effect, as depicted correctly by this graph, is actually larger even than the diameter of the Sun. So the apparent displacement of the Sun is greater than its diameter. And this adds two minutes approximately to every morning and every evening. And this is also the effect that causes uh, the twinkle of starlight as, as uh, denser and less dense areas of air keep moving around. And these two effects together, as well as there's a third effect that gravity also bends light towards the Earth, but that, that is negligible. So these effects together add about 11 minutes here uh, to every day. So March 20th is supposed to be the equinox, but it's not 12 hours of daytime, but more. And there's a day called Equilux, which is every spring earlier and in every fall it is later when daytime is actually 12 hours. So on average, day is indeed longer than night. But I was wondering, why don't we learn this? So in school, in high school, most students already learn anyway about lenses and basic optics and refraction, so that is easy. And they also learn about the size of the sun and visual angles. So putting these three together, should be pretty easy and then there would be a more accurate picture with which I would have been happier. But I'm not a teacher, maybe they are in a hurry, maybe it's more important to understand the calendar which connects more to this equal daytime, nighttime uh, model. Mm, but I'm also wondering if there is some ontological significance to knowing this, to knowing that light on earth is greater than darkness.